we are now at the Samsung's headquarters in uh, Korea and I'm gonna show you something really cool it is an autonomous robot for charging so you know what uh, right now we are in a parking lot and always you know um, in a parking lot uh, there might be some charging stations and the problem is always that uh, those charging stations might be occupied by cars charging it could be occupied by fossil cars blocking it or it could even be occupied by EVs who are done charging so with this uh, robot you can park at any spot and then you just call the robot to you and this is meant for um, like uh, places where you spend some time because as for now it is uh, AC charging only so let's show you how it works so here you see we have a, well, I have an assistant and we have a, a Kia Soul here we're going to use it for demonstration and then we have this thing here it's like a it's like a, a connector right so we put that one yeah can you show what we have to do now so with this is just a, like an, an extra cable we need. So you put the connector on the license plate. Uh, and then we plug it in there. Okay, and then you plug it into the car. And um, that's it. And then you have an app, right? So you, you, you scan uh, the pillar. Uh, there's like, uh, which is this, this is just a, a proof of concept, a prototype. So you're supposed to, use the phone, uh, scan this pillar, and then the robot has a map over the, um, the parking lot, so it knows which pillar you are at, but the robot still has to, um, to locate the car, and by it, it's using um, lots of sensors. Um, yeah, I will come back to that. So it'll locate the car. So let's uh, call the robot then. And uh, this is the robot, uh, they call it the EVAR, uh, I, uh, the EVAR, yeah. <laughs> so it's the EV uh, autonomous uh, recharging uh, robot. So uh, now the robot will get the signal to, uh, to go to charge it. And uh, the user has already left. Um, so the user don't need to uh, interact anything else. Uh, th everything will be automatic from now on. So, um, um, so the robot has, um, right now in this working, I mean in this prototype, it has uh, a 10 kilowatt hour battery, but it can be expanded for, to 60 kilowatt hour or maybe even bigger. And uh, the clue is that it will be, it's using uh, like second hand batteries. So, so that will bring the cost down and also it's better, better for the environment. And it's now using four different sensors it has it has lidar sensor in the front i have actually <laughs> let's see it stop <laughs> it stopped it detected me so it uses lidar there's also a touch sensor here so it's supposed to detect any like if you bump into something it will stop it has ultra sen ultrasonic sensor on the side so if i go too close it will also stop and uh, it shouldn't crash into cars and there's also a camera in the back so now uh, the robot will move to to the pillar we have uh, like uh, we have a scan so it like I mentioned it, it has a map over the parking lot so it knows where the pillar is but once it gets to the pillar it has to locate the car and then it will read the, um, the license plate and locate the car oh this is pretty cool <laughs> And here it finds the car, and you see that they designed the robot to be uh, fairly tall and uh, like take up little space so other cars can pass. And now it will try to, uh, it has to like align up the robot to, the, um, to that adapter thingy or that connector. So now you see it opens up the lid and there's this, this connector and uh, there's a camera right on top of the connector um, now it uses visual to uh, to detect why well, it's, it's doing some crazy stuff here. <laughs> yeah you see it takes a bit of time uh, maybe this one this process could be speeded up later but on the other hand it doesn't matter too much okay it's 
see it's do doing some adjustments here. <laughs> yeah, it has to move a little bit to align up with um, with the port. Uh, but it doesn't really matter if this process takes um, like two minutes or five minutes because the user, like I mentioned, has already left the car, is going back home or or at work or something. Uh, so. Um, yeah, okay, let's see now. Okay, now the robot approaches the port. That's why it has so bright light, because uh, the camera needs to... Uh, to now, it's all, now it's only maneuvering by visual. Yeah, the LiDAR is in front here, so the LiDAR is not being used anymore. Oh, this, this is pretty... Uh, high tech. Okay, now you see that uh, that connector in there is moving a little bit. Okay. Okay, go even closer. Yeah. And also one, one important point here is that uh, the robot does not take too much space here. So you see other cars can still pass while it is uh, charging. Okay, let me see. Let me Take a look at what's going to be. Okay, we can zoom in a bit. Show it better there, there, there. Okay. There you go. There you go. Alright, it's yes, doing some other, some micro adjustments. First, it did the, the bigger movement with the whole robot, and now is um, trying to connect there. Oh, okay. The light went off, so it means that uh, it is connected. Now let's check out this one. All right. Oh, it's charging. This is unbelievable. <laughs> oh, wow. So uh, now you see the robot is charging. And um, the beauty of this is that um, once it is done charging, you know, uh, you can see that uh, the battery is already kind of full. So we don't need to charge. I mean, uh, the owner might be busy for eight hours or 10 hours, but uh, the car only needs to be charged for, let's say, two hours. So then the robot can free up itself and go back when it's done. So um, we don't take up a spot, a charging spot um, for too long, you know? Um, and then the robot is going to go back and uh, recharge. So I think, uh, can we initiate them back? Yeah. yeah. Uh, so now let's, uh, let's simulate that we have been charging a, a bit and um, we are done charging. So uh, the guys over there, they're going to um, send the signal to the robot to, uh, yeah, there, disconnect. <laughs> wow. Okay, now the robot moves out of the way and I guess they will close, it will close the lid. Yeah, you can see some of the electronics in there. Yeah, it probably wants to park the, um, the connector inside it. Then it closes the lid and there's, um, there's supposed to be some ultrasonic sensors uh, on the left and the right side, uh, but they are not in use yet. And then on the side here, you see the black dot there. That's um, that's one of the sensors. Wait, wait. Maybe that one was the ultrasonic sensor. Uh, what, what was the um, the two the two circles? What sensor was that again? The two. This this one is the ultrasonic sensor. Yes, ultrasonic. Okay, and what about the the, the two holes there? Uh, it was ultrasonic. Oh, okay. Didn't, didn't use the oh, like yeah. Wow. So uh, of course, if we would have a car passing by here, uh, an obstacle, uh, a child running in the way, then it will stop. So, uh, well, this is pretty much the same concept as uh, one of those robots, uh, the vacuum cleaner robots. Uh, it will uh, go back to the docking station and um, charge up, and then go to, uh, serve, I mean, go to charge up another car. So um, right now, because this is just a prototype, 
um, we have to charge it manually, but uh, this is a proof of concept. So they, they have programmed it to stop and park at this uh, uh, yellow square here. And uh, it can deliver up to 7.4 kilowatt, one phase, uh, 32 amp. Uh, so it has, um, it has this bi-directional um, um, inverter in here, so it can uh, charge itself and also discharge to an EV. And uh, they, haven't, they haven't planned any like, um, um, DC fast charging yet, but um, at least this one has also um, active uh, battery cooling. But it doesn't have an uh, active battery heater, but that's probably not needed for uh, just 7.4 kilowatt output. So that was pretty cool, you know, <laughs> a charging robot, like, why didn't anyone else think about it? Because Tesla and was it BMW, Volkswagen, Mercedes, they, they were thinking about, you know, this robot arm, but the robot arm is limited to that exact location, you know, uh, and the robot arm needs, um, um, like, the robot arm is not that flexible because some cars have the charging port on the front, some have it on the side or in the back or on the other side. So, but with this adapter, you can always have this stretch it to the back or somewhere else, and then you have the adapter. I mean, you have that connector in the front. So, it's brilliant. <laughs> and um, this is like the most convenient way for uh, EV users, you know? Just park, I mean, put on, park, put on the adapter, and then scan the pillar, and then, um, you can probably get notification on the app uh, about what's going on, if it's charging and all that stuff. So, wow. So you know what? I'm the, the first one, the first YouTuber to be able to see this. This is pretty unique. Like they, they just released uh, a video, uh, Samsung, they released a video today. Uh, but uh, this is like, you saw it here first. So this is, <laughs> hopefully we're gonna see more of this. This is kick-ass technology, yeah, from Korea. So um, I think that's it. Hope you guys enjoy the video. So talk to you later.